Welcome to Survive on a Budget Made Easy. Your home for all the info you need to know when you're just trying to survive on a budget. Okay, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about my shopping experience at Walmart, purchasing a rifle and a shotgun, and it's all kind of, also kind of like a sneak peek into a series I'm going to be doing here real soon called Guns, Gear, and Reviews. If you want to learn more about it, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to Survive on a Budget Made Easy. Like I said, this is me telling you about my experience buying firearms and a sneak peek into a couple firearms I've purchased. Um, I had a lot of people asking me to do gun reviews. And you got to remember, I'm purchasing this, purchasing this stuff out of my own pocket. So, uh, but like I always said, this ain't my channel, it's our channel. If that's what you guys want, that's what I'm going to do. It's kind of risky doing it on YouTube. I went ahead and I decided to do it. But uh, in regards to Walmart, some of my shopping experience was uh, very unpleasant and some of it was very pleasant. The unpleasant part was I, I went, it was a Sunday, I went to Walmart and uh, I seen a rifle that I liked. Also seen a shotgun maybe. I actually seen a couple rifles. I just had to decide which one I wanted. But I was told I couldn't buy them that day because they didn't have somebody sell them to me or whatever. I, I don't know. I, I don't get that story. So Monday morning around break time, I went in, went to my car, got on my phone, called and said, hey, can I talk to somebody in Sporting Goods? Nobody answered the phone. Uh, the lady said, well, I'll send you through again. Nobody answered the phone. She picked, when she picked up the second time, I said, can you just ask somebody to be there? For when I get there, so I can purchase that rifle I wanted. She goes, okay, I'll, I'll relay the message. I said, please call me back to let me know if that's possible. Well, I never got a call back. So I got off work. I drove to Walmart. And uh, I got there. There's no about the sporting goods desk. So I called. I, I called from the sporting goods desk on the cell phone. Said, hey, I'd like to purchase a rifle. Could you send somebody back? And they said, sure. Waited five minutes, nobody showed up. Okay. I called again and said, hey, can you please send somebody back so I can purchase this rifle? They go, oh, nobody came back. I said, no, that's why I'm calling again. So after about 10 minutes, somebody came back, which brings me to the point of Walmart. Okay, I know you guys like to have low prices. I know you guys got to make cutbacks. And I know you got to keep staffing low. I said, I, I get all that. But a 10 minute wait, just for somebody to come to, to a desk after calling, it, 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 it's, it's unacceptable. It really is Walmart. Uh, while I was there, I had one lady come up when I was trying to buy these items and said she'd been waiting over to the paint desk for 15 minutes for somebody to show up. Okay, you guys got to do something about that. Have somebody in the general area you know, maybe have them do laps, you know, like walk, just walk around a certain area in and out, just checking to see if there's customers or anything. It's like people just disappear. But that's that's that. Somebody came back. I, that's pretty much the bad part was getting to that. The good part is the lady that showed up, Linda, and I, I'm going to say this, and it... And, and, it, it's not meant to be a dig at any of the Walmarts, but this lady was at Waynesboro Walmart. Now, I could tell she was a very busy lady, but she was very nice. It was at Waynesboro Walmart. So, Walmart, if you're watching, you know, give, this, this, give this lady a gift card, something, a pat on the back, something. Because this lady, Linda, at the Waynesboro Walmart, was unbelievably polite, nice, caring, um, apologetic for having to wait 10 minutes for somebody to show up. Now, with that said, she showed me a couple rifles, and I picked up, had it down to two, and I, I picked the one I wanted. Okay, and I had a shotgun I was looking at. She brought it out, and it was a, it was a wooden stock, and had like an eight-inch scratch on it. 
And I said, can you take anything off for this? And she's like, no, what it, it is what it is. And that's, I have to sell it that way for the price that it is. Once again, Walmart, if you're watching, I know you watch my videos every now and then. Because I got a whole playlist dedicated to you shopping at Walmart. But you got to give people something to work with. I mean, an 8-inch scratch, I ain't paying full price for that shotgun. I probably would have left with that one, too, if, if they would have came down on price a little. But with that said, she put that one back, and I got a different shotgun. Now, the prices on these, each, uh, each the rifle and shotgun are under $150. I can tell you that right now. I ain't going to tell you too much because I want you to watch the, the series. But the lady was, uh, she was unbelievably polite, very patient. Then we got on the computer, and apparently they installed a new system. Here we go. Walmart, train your people. Take time out. Send somebody to train people. Do something. The lady did the best she could, but she had to call for a manager. His name was Wahid. Okay. Another, another very polite guy. Okay. Give that guy a pat on the back, a gift card, something. Um, he looked at it, got things straightened out, and we did, went ahead did all the paperwork. Like I said, the people that actually sold me the rifle and shotgun were very polite. Lyndon Wahid, I can't thank you enough. You made the, the bad experience somewhat enjoyable. So, should you buy guns at Walmart? I'm going to say yes, but expect a long wait time. Hopefully it's not hunting season because I know a lot of people will be getting upset by that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, open these up, and give you a sneak peek. I think the first one I'm opening is a rifle. Now, I haven't, these are still sealed from the store. Okay, that red tape on there. They, they seal it and they carry it out to you. And I, I got to say, the way they do it, I kind of like it because they have two people selling you a gun. So they're checking everybody's work so you know everything's on the up and up. Oh, no more tape. But I don't know all the policies at all the Walmarts, but I know this one. They had to carry the gun out to you. Like outside, then you took it to your car. Okay, here's the first one that I got. Now, I'm not going to go into no detail about it. I mean, if you know what it is, you probably got a sneak peek when I flipped it over. You've probably seen the name if you're looking close enough. Okay, this is going to be one of the guns I'll be reviewing. Go ahead, put that to the side. And now for the shotgun. Okay, and here's the shotgun. Once again, both these guns were under $150 a piece. I'm not going to get into a lot of detail because I want you to watch the series. Okay, hopefully you found this video helpful. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button. It's going to be up here somewhere. And as always, thank you for watching. Mainly a rifle and a shotgun. And you're also going to get a sneak peek at what I'm going to be reviewing for the upcoming series, guns, gears, gears. Apparently, I'm doing an on mode program. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that again. Walmart shopping for firearms. Uh, I bought a rifle and a shotgun. It's also a sneak peek into the future series, guns, gear, and reviews. So, if you want to learn more about that, I'll be right back. Didn't like that. Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy, your home for all the info you need to know when you're just trying to survive on a budget. In this episode, no. Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy, your home for all the info you need to know when it comes to just surviving, no. 
Welcome to Survive on a Budget Made Easy. You're home for all the info you need to know when you're just trying to survive on a budget. I keep listening to myself. That ain't working.